The Honourable Member for Kings West. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as we all know, the power of educating our youngest citizens is key to economic success. But what we don't oftentimes link is the power that education has when it comes to saving lives. Mr. Speaker, the world has changed. The prevalence of prescription drugs has piqued the curiosity of our youngest citizens and is playing havoc with the lives of our young people. Unfortunately, we're hearing more and more about the tragic outcomes associated with prescription drugs when time after time we hear the countless stories of lives that are ending far too soon. Could the Minister of Health and Wellness outline what role he plays to ensure drug education in our schools remains relevant and is incorporated into the school curriculum? The Honourable Minister of Health and Wellness. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank, uh, thank you uh, to the member opposite for, for bringing this uh, question forward. Uh, I know all members in the House uh, are disturbed when we hear cases of uh, prescription drugs and, and death of abuse of pre prescription drug, uh, Mr. Speaker. It's as, as a father, and I know almost everybody in here uh, as a parent uh, couldn't imagine having to go through that ordeal. Um, as Minister of Health, uh, I've worked with many partners uh, throughout uh, different departments, but outside uh, partners. Uh, I know uh, Captain uh, or Chief Mander uh, from the Valley, for example. I've after becoming Minister of Health, I've uh, requested a meeting with him. We sat down to make sure that uh, we're working together and moving forward to make sure uh, that everybody who can uh, make, a, make a difference in uh, preventing one death, uh, we do all that we can do. So we had a rigorous uh, TV campaign uh, around awareness. I think that's one of the key things we need to ensure is to educate our young people uh, on the importance of the dangers around prescription drug abuse, the mixing of alcohol and, and pres prescription drugs, Mr. Speaker. But I'm also working with our, our uh, ministers, Minister of Education, uh, on a number of programs that uh, I hope will uh, start that education at a, the earliest possible time. Uh, and of course, some of them is through the Schools Plus program uh, that uh, we have in place throughout uh, the province. And uh, I look forward to continue to work with ministers. I continue to work with partners in law enforcement and the clinicians in uh, the community to uh, make sure uh, that we can do everything we can uh, to prevent any deaths uh, in the future. The Honourable Member for Kings West on his first supplementary. Mr. Speaker, again last week, another family went public when Dale Gelato spoke of the tragic death of her daughter Olivia, passed away in April 2012. She was just 15 years old. A bright young junior high student in Dartmouth took one Delata that was ultimately ruled some nine months later to be the single cause of her death. Her parents spoke publicly for the need for more education around drug awareness, more so than ever at an earlier age. Can the Minister of Education explain to us what she has been doing to assure that drug education remains relevant and incorporated into the school curriculum, especially at the upper elementary, middle and junior high grades? The Honourable Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you for bringing this very important topic to the floor today. This is a very serious problem that we're dealing with in Nova Scotia and uh, other jurisdictions across Canada. And, and uh, I, I know that everything is being done uh, in every department to raise awareness around uh, the the dangers of prescription drugs. It is incorporated in our curriculum right from primary, uh, teaching children about uh, prescription drugs not being candy, for example. The very, very early uh, education of keeping one safe from primary uh, right through. I know the, the uh, member asked what was happening in our uh, education system. It is incorporated from primary uh, through to the junior high grades, through uh, health, uh, it is also incorporated uh, in other, uh, other areas, uh, healthy living and in health. Uh, there is a curriculum that addresses it at uh, grade 9, and uh, one of the things is that the prescription drug use 
continues to change. The drugs continue to change. So we are working with the health department and, and uh, educate uh, with the professionals in the health department to make sure that our education is relevant and up to date. And so we will continue to do that to make sure that the curriculum that we are offering our children bring the very best available resources so that we make sure that our children know not to use prescription drugs. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Kings West on his final supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm not sure where to start uh, with that response because uh, in the junior high program there is one paragraph of outdated information. Mr. Speaker, interesting the Minister should say really all of this. I have a copy of an email sent to parents from a teacher in an elementary school in Dartmouth. In fact, this elementary school feeds into the same junior high that Olivia was attending. The email in part uh, reads as follows, and I will table this, in health. We will be starting our unit on health, healthy self. The grade six outcomes have changed and we no longer do a unit on drugs. However, we do still cover a few outcomes on sexual health. Mr. Speaker, the world is changing. This minister and this government refuses to believe it. This is unacceptable. Could the minister please explain to all members of the legislature why the grade six outcomes have changed so that our youngest citizens, the very students who are getting ready to enter junior high, are no longer receiving education on drugs and the lethal impacts that they have on their lives. The Honourable Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we are working in our school system to raise awareness around the, the dangers of prescription drug use, especially uh, when mixed with alcohol and not using other people's uh, uh, medications. Uh, I misspoke when I said teaching children not to use prescription drugs, but I meant was uh, not using prescription drugs that are not uh, their own uh, or to mix them. Uh, our school guidance counselors are working very closely with addiction services and also with our DHAs. Uh, we are making sure that there's information through our guidance counselors and through our curriculum throughout our whole system. We are really very concerned about the prevalence of prescription drug misuse and abuse and we will do everything that we can to make sure that the information that we provide our children is current, up to date, relevant, so that we can make sure that children are very aware not to misuse drugs. Thank you.